diplomat and deputy chief of mission in Yemen, joins us by Skype from Washington, D.C. Mr. Curry, welcome to the program. Uh, Martin Griffiths is saying that Yemen is very much at a, a crossroads uh, between war and peace. Is that how you see it? Well, it's always at a crossroads, isn't it? There are always uh, war and peace uh, choices to be made. Um, Martin Griffiths uh, puts a good face on the progress that has been made in Hodeida, and he and his team have certainly been working tirelessly and heroically uh, on that. But uh, surely he is quite aware that this progress can be very quickly eroded and that the situation overall in Yemen is still very grim. Uh, for one thing, uh, even if it were totally quiet in Hodeida, and it is not, there is still fighting going on there today. Uh, the war goes on in the rest of the country. There are some fierce battles in the north and in the south uh, of Hodeida. So uh, these battles are further complicated by regional tensions. Your report earlier mentioned that the U.S. Uh, announced the withdrawal of non-essential staff from its embassy in Baghdad. This is a result of uh, fears, whether real or imagined, uh, that a war could start or some kind of clashes uh, and that the flashpoint could start in Iraq. This complicates the fighting in Yemen. Uh, any move in Yemen is now seen as part of the broader regional struggle. Take, for example, the uh, Houthi rockets, which uh, uh, caused some damage in oil pipelines in Saudi Arabia. This was seen in some places as something that uh, Iran wishes to send as a message to Saudi Arabia, that if Iran cannot export oil, uh, then Saudi Arabia won't be able to either. Um, so, so given all of that, given all of that, it would seem next to impossible uh, to try and seek any kind of settlement. Well, I mean, uh, uh, the settlement goes back to not the uh, minutia important as they are in Hodeida, but to the overall decision of war and peace to be taken by the regional and international powers. And I'm referring here to the U.S., the United Kingdom, and, of course, to Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. These countries between them, all the keys to war and peace. There's always going to be some kind of a Yemeni Yemeni agreement in the end. But until these big powers decide to end the war, I'm afraid that it will go on. Never, Corey, we do appreciate that. Thanks very much indeed for your perspective. Sure thing.